Republicans elected Trump to be their coach. So keep the political commentary to yourself, or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. That might not be the best thing that ever happened to LeBron James, but he's certainly now turning it into a positive. He just filed a trademark for shut up and dribble for downloadable virtual goods, namely computer programs featuring footwear, clothing, headwear, eyewear, bags, sports bags, backpacks, sports equipment, art toys, and accessories for use in online and online virtual worlds. But think about it. LeBron is a self-aggrandizing egomaniac. One could argue that applies equally to Laura. But she took her head, and now LeBron has dunked back. Tony Katz is here, radio host and basketball-obsessed Indianapolis, also heard on the Eat, Drink, Smoke podcast. Um, obviously, we've, we've had some discussions about LeBron. Um, my sure. only problem with LeBron in this situation is what took him so long? Uh, the, the moment comes when it, when it comes. You know, his, his business partner is a wicked smart guy, and I have never heard anybody uh, say otherwise. Uh, maybe the moment just hit him. Maybe the opportunity just hit. I think that this is really much ado uh, about nothing because even if he does trademark it, uh, d does it change anybody's uh, opinion? Does it change anybody's opinion of him in regards to Hong Kong and how he treated the former general manager of the Houston Rockets, Daryl Morey? Does it change how people view the NBA and their total silence about the abuse of Uyghur Muslims, but they'll be active on any other social cause, uh, social cause celeb that exists? You know, uh, LeBron James is a guy who famously said, I would never talk to Donald Trump, but I'll talk to Barack, though. Uh, that's that that goes along with this this right. theory of now him as, now as coward making... only because he won't do the tough things he does the simple things. This seems like a, just a simple little business move that no one's going to care about. Well, I, I don't know. You, you you think about it, you could be probably make some make a little bit off it. I can imagine some people buying buying it, whether you wear it in irony or not, uh, to be determined. It's interesting though because this you know LeBron on the left is in a way Jim Harbaugh on the right. Um, who is the coach at Michigan, ardently pro-life, uh, came out uh, at a pro-life conference, was trolled and dragged on social media about it, and then asked uh, on ESPN about it. Take a listen. You don't feel like you can care for it, you don't have the means or the wherewithal, then Sarah and I will take that baby. Any player on our team, uh, any female staff member, any staff member, or anybody in, in our family, our, our, uh, our uh, our extended family <clears throat> that that, that uh, doesn't feel like after they have a baby that they can take care of for it. We got a big house. We'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll raise that baby. You think I'll take that baby is going to become a sweatshirt or a T-shirt? Uh, I think it could. Uh, very possibly, it, it should. I'm always kind of stunned uh, that people don't believe that the pro-life people are actually these people. They stand by what they believe. For near 50 years, they fought Roe v. Wade. They told you they wanted to overturn it. They told you they wanted to change the laws in the states. People actually didn't believe them, and they're stunned now. In, in my Indiana, of course, we've got the special session talking about abortion. They're stunned that the Republican Party is moving in a certain direction. They told you this. Nobody is, uh, should be surprised when it was laid out. I don't know if it'll be a T-shirt, but in the same way, maybe it will, and maybe it'll be something that sells. LeBron might make a bunch of money from a shut up and dribble. My argument only is that it's it's... It's not as big of a story as the idea of Jim Harbaugh, a guy who is sticking to his guns and isn't going to get worried if you mock him for his beliefs. He really believes it. He does really believe it. I'm almost surprised he still has a job at the University of Michigan and that they haven't caved. I guess, I guess in a way, it shows you that the universities care a lot more about money uh, than they do about their own uh, politically correct beliefs. You know, it's funny, University of Michigan is the place where you had doctors at a white coat ceremony, new doctors, walk out on yeah. a speaker because she was a pro-life speaker. To the dean's credit, he was like, we're absolutely inviting her because we need to hear all of the thoughts mm -hmm. and all the points of view out there. So, yeah, uh, Michigan is this weird dichotomy, but good on the coach. Yeah, there you go. Hey, uh, Tony, it's always good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Always, man. All right. Talk to you soon.